staying safe at home. My name is Vaan Vishwanathan from Class 10C and today I am going to be working on the sport basketball. Now I am going to be focusing on two key aspects which will help elevate your game. The first one is ball handling. This will help you increase your dribbling ability on court. And the second, ha and the second one is your vertical which will work on how high you jump. Uh, there are going to be two targeted workers for each skill. So guys now we are going to start off with dribbling ability. I suggest you guys grab a ball. So the first drill which you're going to do right now is power dribbling. So right now, uh, make sure that you have a wide stance. Uh, get as low as possible so as to get a low center of gravity. This actually helps improve your ball control. Now when I dribble, I make sure that it is to the side of my foot. Now I've dribbled five times, switch. Now whenever you switch, make sure that you sway with the ball. And also keep your eyes off the ball. But whenever you do this, make sure that you do it in sets of three. Now, if you do want a challenge and you want to take it up a notch, take two basketballs. Uh, the same stance, as low as possible for center of gravity. Now again, pound, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, pound, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. you're going to do is the dribble catch. Now uh, make sure to have a basketball and a tennis ball. Always keep your eyes on the tennis ball after you get into the stance. But on the other hand, make sure that you start dribbling. Now to start tossing the ball up in the air. Switch hands. Now make sure that you give uh, an equal number of tosses on both hands so as to give enough practice on both your dominant and your non-dominant hand. Now this drill mainly helps in your hand-eye coordination since you are concentrating on tossing and catching the ball while retaining position of the basketball. Now with enough practice on both hands, you notice that dribbling the basketball in game will become muscle memory and you can concentrate more on the surroundings in game to make that pass or go for the shot. So the next two drills which we are going to do is mainly working on your vertical. How do we do that? We mainly focus on increasing your leg strength and also your balance. Having good vertical is an important asset while playing basketball. The first drill which you are going to do for your vertical are jump squats. Now before you do a jump squat, make sure that your shoulder and your toes are in line. Now shoulders and toes in line, stretch your, bend your knees forward just a bit such that your toes are in line with your knees. Then stretch your glutes back and make sure your thighs are parallel to the ground. Now jump as high as possible but land in the same position. Now landing in the same position mainly helps negate the uh, spring-like action in your joints which then in turn brings your thighs and your ankles into play. This increases strength and, and your vertical. Your vertical are side hops. Now um, pull this leg back just this much and bend just a little, not too much, this much is enough. Now after bending, stay there for a second, launch, land, stay down for a second to negate the spring action of your joint, then legs down. Now pull this back, bend this just a little, launch, stay there. Start. Now you have to make sure that you have equal number of hops on both legs and also you have to make sure how many of you do, you have to do it in three sets. Okay, so um, I'd like to thank my basketball coach Mr. Markesh Ranjan who has been coaching me for the past seven years and helped me improve my game for so long. And I'd also like to thank the SOI Sports uh, staff who have given me the opportunity to make this video. I've had so much fun making this. So thank you and I hope you enjoy.
Hi everyone, my name is Shreya Bhuse. So today I'm going to show you my skills in badminton. So the major skill for badminton is service. There are two types of service. One is below base and one you take it upwards. So uh, both we can play in doubles and singles. So I'll show you both the services. So the first service which is below base. So below base is like you have to play cross court. While playing cross court you have to place your left left foot here and then you have to keep the shuttle in in front like in front side of the racket and the grip would be like think this is your racket and then place your thumb thumb finger right here not like this or not like this it should be right in the center and then while playing the shot you place your right i mean left and then keep your racket here below the base not upwards or else it might be called as uh, fall so just keep it here place the shuttle like this in uh, in the center and then and then play the cross court shot which is net level not too high or else the opponent will smash so not too high not too low as there is box in there if the, if the shuttle goes in the box it is not considered the point goes to the opponent so just place the racket here and then play this shot just slight movement not too much so now i'll show you the upward service so the upward service you will place your left leg like this in this position place or uh, place your shuttle here take it not too high not too low just keep it here it's below base so like this and then the same grip just a bit of change and then swing it will be like this the follow through should be proper so that's all you have to keep in the mind now i'll show you the smash so we backhand smash which is one of the toughest but obviously not impossible so the backhand grip will be like this thumb finger like this if you keep it like this then you won't be able to smash it will just come as flat or else like this it won't be the proper grip or uh, you might get a wrist um pain or something so just place your thumb finger here and right leg right leg right leg here like this so first you'll be in this position then you have to do follow through it's like this not too much of swing not less swing you should just be like this so i'll show you now they are be in the ready position and then my video and special thanks to my sisters who is taking the video right now and to my sister who gave me the shot to play so thank you for watching my video My name is Shweta and I'm going to show you major important skills for badminton. So let's start with drop. So for the drop, your position should be right leg front and left leg back and then your racket should be net level. So while hitting the shot, it should be at the center, not at the edge or not at the center. So it should go net level so that opponent won't be able to see and the shot will be very nice and it will be net level. So let's start. And before you start, let's uh, put the uh, let's see the grip. So how you do a handshake? Like that, the whole hand grip should be. So here is the grip, and then. So let's start. So let's begin with smashes. So it's very easy to do a full hand smash. So let's start. So left leg should be front and right leg should be back, and the arm should be in the shape of. Very straight. It will not bend, or else you may have an elbow pain. And then the racket should be like this. The shuttlecock should aim the racket at the center, not to at the edge, not down the edge. So it should be like this, and the stroke should be like this. And so let's begin. So 
yeah you can try out jumping also so i want to tell special thanks to my school who gave this wonderful opportunity to explore new things and uh, i want to tell special thanks to my sisters who is taking up video and who helped me a lot during this i hope you like the video and i hope you are having fun this day thank you Thank you.